Hi guys, welcome back to Terra with Gaming. I'm Ed, and today is season five, episode two of FC Os in Football Manager 2018. Uh, as you may be aware, if you did see the last episode, we are in the Eredivisie now after our promotion last season. Things are going pretty well. I'll show you in a second, but first I'll apologise for any kind of weird light. It might go up and down during the video. Uh, in addition, you might not be able to see me properly. It doesn't look great, but I don't really want to meddle with too many of my options because I'm terrible at putting them back. Um, it's what is it, 25 to 7 UK, uh, mid-April, and it's just, it's so light outside, it's ridiculous, I don't really know what to do with it, but that's life, so look at that, <laughs> it's ridiculous, we met for Excelsior the first game of the season, which we won 6-4 away from home, we followed up with a 5-4 defeat, really, I feel like I should start just recording everything and releasing it as like extra footage between episodes, because it's been ridiculous so far. Yeah, we lost 5-4 to here in Veen. Uh, we got back to 5-4 in the last 10 minutes. Ugh, what do you say? We just couldn't quite get the winner. But we were... Were we 4-0 down? 3-0? We're 3-0 down, then 3 all. Yeah, we're 3-0 down in the first 20, 21 minutes. Then we got to 3 all just before half-time. Um, then they scored a couple later on. And then we got one back just to make it tense. <laughs> Ridiculous. I don't think there's been anything, any remarkable goals. They've just been pretty standard. So I'm not going to show you too much at this point. We then beat FC Twente in the last minute with a Michael Martyr goal. Uh, I might show you that in a second just because it's nice to see something, right? Uh, we beat Az, uh, Alkmaar, 4-1. They got a man sent off, which sort of helped, but we were doing pretty well anyway. We were 3-1 up before that and only scored the fourth in the last minute. And then Willem 2, who came up with this last season, uh, we thrashed them 6-2 in the last game. I'll just pick a random goal to show you. So there's Kevin Varela that came off the bench to score a hat-trick, which is nice for him. Uh, as you can tell, obviously, I don't need to really say anything to you guys. Uh, we are creating a ton of chances, but we are leaking a ton of chances. So it just seems to be whoever's more clinical on the day. Um, it doesn't really surprise me. So this is Varela's second goal. So Saraiba... Gives it to Kane on the edge of the box, finds Varela in the middle, just turns, puts it in the bottom corner. We've been scoring all kinds of goals, it's ridiculous. Um, something else I've done, so I've been a bit more active on social media with Oss stuff. Uh, I mentioned in the last episode that trying to offer Darren Kane a new deal is a nightmare because he just wants 7.25k, as does uh, Bobby McKee. Um, as does some random guy I tried to sign. I think he was called Rene R something. I'm not going to be able to find it. Rene Rocher. So he came up as a, an agent offer. Oh no, yeah, because I just signed a new scout and he's Haitian. Hi Haitian? So I was like, yeah, sure, that'll do. Uh, I can get him for free. So let's crack on. He's quite young. You never know. He could be all right. He wants the same. And I put it out on... Twitter, I put it out on Reddit, I was like, what's wrong with this bug in the game? A few people on Twitter were like, oh, I don't know, have you checked the league rules? I was like, oh, no, it's, fine. it's not the league rules, I hadn't checked the league rules. Went to Reddit, oh, by the way, we're fourth in the league, as you can see there, um, we'll come on to that in a second. Went on to Reddit, and people overnight had said, actually, I think you'll find in the rules that here, and this is the first time I actually looked at it here, wage rules. Three three hundred a week minimum wage for full time non EU players seventeen years old and up, and then seven two fifty minimum wage per week if they're twenty years old and up. And I've completely forgotten that the Northern Ireland guys are non EU, so these weren't problems in the Jupiter League. And I now face them. So hopefully I didn't spoil anything for the Twitter guys. Uh, someone on Reddit re like quickly saw that I was in the Eredivisie because I was playing here in Vienna at some point. But there you go, that's that's that explained. Uh, the league, yeah, so sorry, i just got to jump back into the whole view, which I'm terrible at. Let's go back and go... Well, season preview, yeah, we were 1,000 to 1. Ridiculous. So, goal difference of 9. Can I see, like, the full table? There we go. So, we've scored 23 goals this season and conceded, not, uh, conceded 14 in 5 games. It's just ridiculous. And here in Wien have got a similar sort of thing, but they've had that one game against us as well. They've scored five against three teams. We scored six, six, four, four, and three. Uh, we've not kept a clean sheet yet. It's 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 crazy. So I might just start recording the in between games just for a bit of a laugh. 
But um, back onto the contract, it's sort of causing some problems. And I hadn't realised it was 20. I thought it was 21. Um, so I'm probably going to have to go and offer non-EU guys loads of contracts if they are under 20 because they're going to start costing me a ton of money really soon, if not. Uh, in terms of transfers and stuff like that, let's have a quick gander. So I don't know if you met. I think you met Kevin Varela, to be fair. Um, so I'll leave him there. We signed a winger, uh, Bjarne Mar Finson. I think he was a freebie or cheap. Yeah, he was a free. He looks fine. Um, he's a winger. We've got so many people up that left side who can sort of be a winger or a defender. This guy can't defend. But he also wants to be an inside forward. He's very different to Appai and Silver on the right-hand side, which is why I can't really play him right wing. His work rate is terrible, and his teamwork is terrible. And those are pretty key features of Silver and Appai. So he he's here just as a bit of cover. He might get sold at some point for some good money. Appai got injured, so I signed this guy I've been scouting. Lionel Sonna, Cameroonian, 19-year-old. Uh, he's on the books for three years. I think he's part Italian or something as well. Yeah, he's part Italian, so that's why he's not costing me an absolute fortune. Um, but yeah, really good crossing, dribbling, pace. He's 19. He's younger than Appai, and he's, I mean, probably better than him, really. Um, yeah, he's like a star better than him. And strangely, my centre mid I signed wants to be an attacking left mid as well. But, you know, that's fine. So that's, that's sort of how things are going um, pretty well. I just need to run through and make sure all the contracts are up to date and stuff like that now because that's a fear that I'm going to be spending so much money on these guys inside the next season or so. There aren't too many expiring at the end of this season, but the end of the following season will get expensive. So I might want to go on long-term deals now. In terms of the team for today, then we are playing Ajax, which is obviously a huge game. I oh, know we're not playing PSV, I completely lied. It's still a huge game. I want to bring you the big ones. So Moose, Birmingham, Azevedo, Maxwell, Vasquez... All the same. Olate, defensive mid, as you know, still the same. Two differences are we've got Robert Keenan, who I just showed you on screen quickly. Uh, he's in the middle instead of backboard. He did quite well when he came on. Backboard's been okay, but nothing ridiculous. But he's a promising attacking midfielder. Uh, he wants to be attacking mid. I'm obviously playing centre mid on attack because that's what I do. But those physicals are disgusting. This is one of the guys I bought for 4K in the summer. It's just, it's, it's crazy. Um, unfortunately, I've got him. Yeah, I've got him for two years, and then with potential triggering of contract on 1.6 a week, so that's fine. So we don't need, need to worry about that. But he's just—he's an absolute monster. Some of the mentals on him as well. Really good work rate. Everything else is middling, but pretty getting good. And like he's 18, so he's going to be disgusting. I think he's going to be horrendously good. So we're going to do well to keep hold of him. Uh, Silver on the right, who is wanted by MVV. I mean, Silver still doesn't look great, and he's 22 now, but. He's still performing, still 7.36 average. And then this Sonna guy on the left, 8.4 average so far, only from two games, but, you know. Marta and Kane up front. Kane has scored 8 in 5, Marta 5 in 5. The only average rating that's really letting us down is Vasquez, um, simply because he doesn't really do much in terms of assists or goals. I think Birmingham might have other... No, he doesn't even have an assist, so how he's got a 7, I don't know. But... Considering how many goals we've conceded, these average ratings at the back are awesome. I don't really know how it's going on. And then off the bench, we've just got so many players. I don't know what to do with it, really. Um, I've offered loads out for loan, and no one is up for going. So I'll figure that out. McKee wants a new contract, but I can't give him one because he's going to cost 7k a week, as does Kane. And that's kind of it. Um, let's get into the game. Obviously, I'm kind of carrying on with the same sort of team that you've met before uh squad number needs to be given to this guy who's come onto the bench you can be number 12 don't really care so it's um yeah it's interesting you'll meet him at some point i i'm undecided whether or not to do the quick boys game I might do that as an extra thing because that's our first round of the cup is against quick boys who are uh, at least at most like a tweed division side tweedy tweed third division whatever but we get into it um what to expect from this i don't really know i thought i had the league table up but I mean, apparently not. Uh, PSV are sixth, so they're a couple places behind us. Um, considering how we've started, I'm feeling positive about it. Oh, but <laughs> as soon as we, as soon as this, the chances stop drying up, I know we need to get better at the back. But I don't really know how to do that. I've realised I can't defend for pe oh, peanuts. That too. I can't defend for anything. Peanuts is one of them. But Kane's been released down the left. Can he get a cross in? He can. Marta is there but doesn't get his head on it. 
PSV clear it, but we're in some good advanced positions here. Olate finds Sona on the edge of the box, does his man, gives it to Kane wide, and then puts it to the back post for Silva to just nod in extremely easily. There it is, 1-0, seven minutes gone. Um, I mean, if we keep a clean sheet, I'd be astounded. I was looking at keepers um, towards the end of the transfer window. Have we gone past that? I think we have. Yeah, we have. We've gone well past it. There are a couple flying around. Silver corner on the right, crosses it in Kane. It comes off the post and cleared off the line. And then Maxwell hits it straight into the defender and goes out for another corner. Yeah, there are a couple of young Dutch prospects. But they were like, I can't remember who. I think NEC had one. They wanted two million. And as much as our finances are pretty good, we've got about 5.5 in the bank. Um, we don't have two millions worth. The issue is I've, I've blown a good million or so in the last full season or so, just scouting players, probably two seasons really. So I've had to change the budget a lot because I've been going for like Irish players and Portuguese players and stuff like that rather than Dutch players. There aren't too many sort of prodigies I can get my hands on at the moment in the Netherlands, which is a shame, but we'll figure that out. Um, hence why we've still got Moose in goal, but Kane straight at van der Hart, which is a very confusing name to read it's all like van der Sar and joe hart put together um yeah i mean is this a, oh silver goes close there a little volley back 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 i don't know back something uh martinel ball from deep puts up the line keenan is there and keenan gets so much more involved in these wide areas and back ball does puts it to the back post with sonar puts it straight at van der hart yeah, Keen, I love him. He's got so much pace about him. Um, I do feel bad because I do love backboard. But Keenan is a much more technical player, whereas backboard is a physical one. Um, and there is a spot for backboard, just it's not going to be all the time. And to be fair, we've, oh, we've still got that Saraiva fellow who's probably the second best centre mid we've got behind Keenan so I don't really know what to do I'll figure it out I might start giving him the nicknames though that make more sense Sonar comes deep to intercept and smashes a big ball to Marta who gets onto it will he cross it for Kane he will Kane is there straight at Van der Hart again we've hit the word work twice if you believe the hype we've been all over PSV we're struggling to cope with the numbers in midfield that's sort of the way the tactic plays we we use the the ball very little in the middle, I, I I think. Once we get into the opposition half, yes. Silver free kick walking to the edge of the box straight at the wall. Will we get another chance to get it in the box here? And we've got four men back. And this is the thing. We, we seem to be getting a lot more players back this season in terms of defending set pieces and just in general open play. But then for whatever reason... We're just getting cut through. I think it's just a higher quality of players we're facing. Kane now, what's he going to do? He's been tripped up. It's a penalty. He wants it. I always like to pause and have a look here, so I do apologise. Yeah, Darren Kane wants it. He's our best penalty taker. So let's do it. Is he going to be sent off? He is. It was a professional foul. I completely agree. So potential to go 2-0 up. Darren Kane puts it into the bottom left corner. And we're beating PSV. Darren Kane with his ninth goal of the season. In six games. <laughs> it is absolutely ridiculous. Keeper's doing his best to put him off. He started going the wrong way and that's killed him. Might have got there otherwise. But it's looking good for FC Oss. Um, we, as it stands, all right, I think we're playing a game more than everyone else around us currently. Yeah, Ajax, Feyenoord, here in Veen, all played five. This puts us top as things stand. When do you start believing? And it's six games in. It's far too early, isn't it? But I'm getting really excited. Right, I'm really happy with the way things are going. And I'm going to go check on my burgers. Two seconds. Right, I'm back. Yeah. Um, the wife is at some fitness thing this evening, which is cool. So I say fitness. Health, whatever, is something. So it gives me a good chance to record. So obviously I'm having burgers for dinner because I'm a monster. Uh, so Keenan comes deep to grab the ball and then you see him just sprinting through the middle there it's a really long run from deep can he get anything on it he can't Marta can yeah Keenan just offers that option that backboard isn't but I do love backboard so I want to keep him around and to be fair a load of these guys are signed up for pretty much the rest of their lives by this point um, which is good and bad because backboard probably isn't really good enough for this division ooh 
but considering there might be some turnover in the next season or so around players leaving because they're too good, it's good to have some kind of continuity there. So hopefully Backboard does stick around for that. PSV are coming on to us a bit. Ooh, and put it just wide there. 64 minutes gone. Let's make some changes. I don't really fancy their ability to get back into the game at this point. So I'm going to take off Keenan for Survivor. Uh, Colin Douglas has had a go recent. I kind of want everyone to get some game time. Vasquez can... Ooh, no, he can stay on. He's got a bit of a lower rating. Van der Linden comes at left back because he's now 18. So I do want him to get some game time. He looks pretty darn good considering... Um, anyone else? I mean, I've got so many players who have loads of potential. I just don't know who to play or what to do with them. Douglas doesn't. I mean, Douglas doesn't look amazing. He's twenty, but at the same time, I don't know. I mean, Bobby McKee hasn't had a go this season, so I'm actually going to bring off Olarte. Um, switch those guys around. Saraiva can be a deep liar on defend. And McKee can be an uh, attacking centre mid. Um, yeah, it's hard. I've just got too many players that now need game time. And I said this would be a problem. And I know it's a problem because it's, it's my obsession in Football Manager is just using regen players. Uh, but as a result, yeah, this does happen. I end up ruining a few careers. I make some really good ones. But they sometimes just get wasted. This game's just flying by now. Three minutes to go. 2-0 up. Oh, PSV might have a chance here. Is that Leandro? Is that his name? Bacuna? Bacuna? No, it's Juninho Bacuna, whoever that is. I was thinking of the ex-Aston Villa player. I think it was Aston Villa. PSV, cross into the box, back stick, header, Moose puts it over the bar. That was an absolute sitter, apparently. I mean, they've had two clear-cut chances. I can't say I remember one of them, but that was definitely one. But it looks like we might hold on to a clean sheet, which would be nice. 30, 20 seconds to go now. It should just be an end of the game highlight. And 10 seconds. Van der Linden picks up the ball. Whacks it along. Marta gets onto it. Could get a last minute third. Not likely, especially with crossing like that. But that's it. 2-0. So that's the least amount of goals we scored in a game this season. But it results in a 2-0 win. Clean sheet. I'm very happy. What What can you do? What can you do? I can't. Mo I'm so happy with this side. So five wins, one loss in the league. Send the assistant. Kane got a nine. So his average rating this season is an eight point nine eight after six games. <laughs> he is not going to stay long, is he? I'm gonna. Have, I'm gonna. Oh, he's only got until the end of next season. Do I accept paying seven point two five k a week for him now? and get him in for longer or risk having to pay him like 20 odd k in a year's time that's the big question because it depends how we're looking in terms of the race for Europe but yeah really successful episode um, I need to go and look at all the contracts and stuff behind the scenes I will do quick boys as like an extra episode which I might just knock out you know what I'm actually gonna I'm gonna play around with this a bit I'm gonna record these games until so final to be the next live one which I might do this evening but I'm going to record these other ones and even if I'm literally just sticking a game after a game after a game on something and then just releasing it as extra content that's not got commentary on it but it's got something on it then this something isn't it so yeah I'll do that so next time you'll see me you know, my face is for Fire Nord but you will actually see Quick Boys in the Cup Addo Den Haag and Direct in the League which will be interesting. I need to make sure I save my starting lineup because I'm going to rest a ton of players for this quick boys game. But if you enjoyed that and you're enjoying seeing all this green and all these ridiculous goals, then smash a like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff, and I'll see you again next time. Cheers.